Hey the YouTube France Hopper here. It is Saturday the 9th of May and tonight we're going to unbox an iPad Mini 2. Yes, it's only the 2 and not the 3 because that's all I needed since the 3 just simply adds the fingerprint sensor and I'm sure there are plenty of unboxings of this already out there but hey, it's YouTube. It's not like storage is that expensive, so why not? So this is of course the top slash the front side just simply says iPad mini, back has barcodes and how many gigs there are, and interestingly it also has an Energy Star sticker. That's the first time I've ever seen that on an Apple product actually. And the other side has iPad mini, and the top and the bottom just simply have the Apple logo. So if we give this a slight shake to get the top off. Possibly. Ta-da! Here we have the actual iPad Mini itself. Nice and shiny with a nice pull tab to pull it out. Set that on the side. You have your USB charger here. This is the 10 watt which this might actually need since it's a retina. I can't remember what the first generation came with, if it was a 10 watt or a 5 watt. And here you have, no doubt, your Apple stickers and your Get Started card, as well as regulatory information. So we have Getting Started card, iPad info, and stickers. And then you have your lightning cable, which is just a typical lightning cable. So here is the back of the Mini 2, and it's space gray. I'll kind of miss the black, but I'll probably get used to it eventually. This has a secondary mic for noise cancelling that the first generation Mini did not. Buttons and everything on the side are otherwise the same for the most part. Hopefully this has a bit of charge to turn on. Yes it does. And I can't set it up for two reasons. One, I have 18 minutes of battery life left on uh, the camera. And two, uh, this would not will not restore from my iOS backup because I am running uh, an iOS version that's not released to the public uh, yet, more or less. And so as a result, my backup is um, with a newer version of iOS than what this ships with. And if we just finish taking the plastic off. There we go, it's about the same weight as the first generation. I think it's actually slightly heavier because of the retina. But there is the screen. And this, of course, is like setting up any other iOS device on iOS 8. So, that is it.